folks, tech folks, well, all kind of folks, small business folks, tech folks, everything. Excuse the wind, I'm outside. It uh, just stopped raining about a half hour ago, and it's actually darker than it looks. It's just this, the camera on this phone. I hate recording on phones. I need to get me another GoPro. But uh, anyway, um, if you been paying attention and I know you know keep it techie he keeps up on all this stuff on I mean it's just been going crazy here lately with these um uh cloud services getting hacked western digital just got hacked they got hacked uh this one got hacked Amazon they get hacked get hacked get hacked now y'all know I'm I'm on the very small end of all this stuff I bill you know if if I you know for people I know or our small little community I build small I build computers and NAS servers uh, NAS drives because I but NAS drive is not a backup NAS drive is not a backup a uh, rule of three two one but I'm not gonna get in that I know people I I've seen people use it as a sort of a backup and I'm like that's it's not what it's designed for, y'all. I mean, stop it. Oh, well, when one of the drives go out, you know, and, you know, you're supposed to do your, your, look up your, your health report on your hard drives. I like, I do that on mine. I do it once a month. But, um, uh, but that's, that's me. I mean, it's not hard. I mean, the, the machine does all the, all the stinking work. You don't do nothing. You just click the mouse. But, um, anyway, I um, went online today to uh, look up, look for some more, uh, some uh, NAS Reds, uh, Western Digitals. I like them a little better than the uh, than the Iron Horse drives. They're quieter. The Iron Horse is a little cheaper than the Western Digital, but it's but they're quieter. And when if you're just running two or three disc it's no big deal but when you get in the machines like we're running where you know where you got 15 15 18 20 hard drives in one case because and they're all running at the same time it makes that noise the vibration and all that other good stuff so that's a that's a totally different animal but um but that's but anyway went online my normal source New egg, eBay, uh, get the uh, the Western Digital external ones because you we just call it's called shucking, where you take uh, take them out. It got a hard drive on the inside, just a regular Na- uh, uh, NAS drive, and you can um, go to you can um, look up the uh, part numbers on there, so you will pretty much know uh, which series and whatnot you have. But anyway. I'm looking, I'm like, what in the world? We were buying 12 terabyte uh, hard drives, Western Digitals, 150 bucks, 140 bucks. Um, the um, Iron Horses, like I say, they're, they're they normally a few bucks cheaper, you know, uh, uh, than the uh, Western Digitals damn things is sky high couldn't didn't see a 12 terabyte less less than 190 dollars most of them were two uh 200 and some change the market reacts to the world that's going on around them because i'm in a small community and and you get online to your tech commun- communities and whatnot and a lot of companies small to medium-sized companies that's been using cloud services they're doing a 180 because back in the day they used to have their own in-house deal but then with your own in-house deal then cloud services start coming online amazon you know microsoft with theirs western digital with theirs you know everybody start coming online with their deals and a lot of people abandon their in-house uh, uh, storage, uh, storage and file servers, and just start uploading everything, uh, uploading their stuff to the cloud. 
And like I always tell people, look, you know what you're doing when you upload to a cloud, right? Yeah, you're storing your stuff on somebody else's computer. That's that's all you're doing. Now, granted, you're paying for the convenience because you don't have to maintain it. You know, you don't have to do uh, uh, so uh, hardware and software updates and BIOS updates. And yeah, you don't have to do all that. They do that. That's what you're paying for. But I tell people, I said, but look at how much money, look at how much money that you're spending uh, more often than not. L I said, L look, if you're just a casual person, just somebody, you are, you a big YouTuber, you know, you you a CEO, but CEO probably built his own machine. What's up, CEO? Uh, knowing him, but uh. If you just a casual person and you only need a couple of terabytes of storage to use it just in case, you know, you're the hardware hard drive in your computer that you use in doing your content creation or you editing videos for somebody else or making websites for somebody or whatever the heck, that's fine. But when you get to the to the knuckleheads like my goofy ass. You know, and you and you're uh, storing, you know, your file server. You you know, you're never under eighty terabytes of storage. You know how much eighty terabytes of storage it costs you on a damn. Now you're talking the enterprise grade stuff, and you're paying hundreds of dollars a month, not a year, a month. Now I ain't dissing them. I ain't saying I ain't trying to take nothing away from them. But now, since the price of that, then, uh, like I say, it's been gone up, files are getting bigger. Because them 720p files, you can hold a whole bunch of them, but everything's 4K now. And 8K, and 8K is coming. 8K red footage. Well, it ain't coming. It's here. Now, everybody ain't using it. The professional guys are using it. But, you know, just your uh, moderate, you, uh, uh, moderate guys, they, yeah, 1080p. 4K. I'm in the 4K gang. I've been in, I know, C over 4K gang, Super Sly 4K gang, um, uh, AM1 4K gang. All of us, we, we in the 4K gang. I mean, look, look at the crystal clarity of our videos. <laughs> but uh, they take up more space. Where it used to be, you know, having uh, four terabytes in the cloud, that one, you're like, what the hell is that? Hell, you can get that. Hell, you put a damn 12 terabyte hard drive and spinning disk for storage in your damn computer. What the hell? But I know, like I say, NAS is not a backup. You got a back. I, I got a backup. Plus, I have a files at, at three different, uh, totally different locations, and that I can access, you know, through a um, uh, network through the uh, internet. So. And it's you know, VPN, so, you know, password, my password is so, and it's a trip, and I do have it memorized. Got a 27-character password, and yes, I have it memorized. <laughs> so, uh, good luck, and I, I'm not that high up the totem pole where somebody going to be trying to crack me anyway. The only thing they're going to do is crack me and find out that this fool ain't got no money. He equipment rich and cash poor. We how, Why do we waste so much time cracking this system? You wasting your time. I ain't got no money. But uh, <laughs> shoot, I'm out here. I, uh, I'm going to be out here with a cardboard box and a hat. Like, please, sir. Please. Please, sir. Go Oliver Twist on you. I want some more. The market, the streets is watching, the world is watching. This latest Western digital breach was a big one. Um, remember the Colonial Oil Pipeline? I'd done that one. That that video's gone too. And they paid they paid the ransom. They paid it to get it back. But they, I think they didn't. Re, they, I don't. I don't think Colonial Oil released that they had been hacked. The information until after they had already paid it. I think. And yeah, they go after the hackers like so the last one that uh, Keep It Techie just done. I think they're holding, they're, I know they're holding out for millions, 
these these people they uh i think they hold out the western digital like in the seven digits in the seven digit range uh they they hitting these guys up so now they're starting to leave the cloud some people some people and go back to in-house servers and in-house storage and in-house backup because when you look at how much it costs you now to hold all them files and these people still getting hacked and they're and holding their holding their uh, files and and even if they don't steal your files a lot of it is information I got your bank account I got your tax ID number I got your phone numbers I got your IS, you know, I got your, I got your IP numbers. If you, especially if you got a static IP address, I got your IP numbers. I got all kind of stuff through there. Sometimes now some people, their files and data is more important than other stuff. But some people it's the opposite. Like if you're a financial institution, you're toity toit and toit street bank. And they using one of them and they get hacked. And wait a minute, I got a savings account at Toity Toy and Toy Street Bank. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people is getting I'm telling y'all, if y'all ain't watching Keep It Techie's channel, y'all y'all doing yourself a disservice. Keep It Techie got excellent information. There's some other guys too, but Techie is one, but Techie is my dude. So um, so watch Keep It Techie and and most people oh that ain't got nothing to do with me I just got 2 terabytes uh, 2 terabyte up on Google Google's been hit a couple of times don't think you do it it's rolling the dice but anyway I'm just saying that watch the market watch the game like I said because I'm on I go to these chat well I call it chat rooms them them, them chat board some old school um oh man you know where you can go in and people got all the different topics and whatnot i've done a video on that before and there's some out here they're still they're still out here in the tech world and the, and the guys doing hot rods and truck enthusiasts and all kind of other stuff these boards are still popping they still popping uh because a lot of us we don't like Facebooks and all that other stuff. We can talk all the smack. Whoever is running this running the page, you know, they set the tone and you know we can talk all the smack we want because you know you have all right, this is for this hardware, software, this page is for this uh uh is for network, uh, brand loyalty, and then uh, anything goes one where y'all can talk smack and ain't nobody getting, you know getting getting uh, uh jacked up like you would if you was on facebook or some kind of crap or as carrie call it the book of faces but uh but anyway but um the prices has gone up people now people are coming a lot of people are coming back to the in-house server because they don't feel safe you can't go you can't go a month without one of these big houses getting hacked Western Digital is huge. Amazon, when they done them, that's huge. And they hold them and they hold them hostage. You give us X amount million dollars and we'll give you the data back that we stuff that we and a lot of time they don't take the data. They literally think of me breaking into your house. You're in your house, and I didn't found a way to uh, jimmy a window open come through the ventilation system like in the movies and whatnot and I get inside your house and there's a couple of ways of doing it is I break into your house and I take stuff out of your house and take it with me and I contact you hey I got your DVD collection <laughs> you know and whatnot and if you want and your photo albums and if you want it back you know give me this much you know blah 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 
Another way they do it in the digital world, they break into your house. They don't take the stuff out of your house. They just lock you out of a room inside your own house. So your stuff is in there. You just can't get to it. And they say, look at, okay, give me X amount meal. Give me, give, give me a million dollars. One million dollars. Give you that Dr. Evil. Uh, uh, you know, our enterprise is worth 19 million dollars. Well, somebody throw me a freaking bone. I've been froze for 30 years or however long it was. Yeah. Give me a million dollars and I'll give you the key to your room that I got you locked out of in your own house. Now that 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 work that that don't always work because then okay, you're inside my house. I know where you at. So now I can work on beating the door down to get in to get inside. But that costs a lot of money. And those are the guys. Now, the big fish have that. If you just got, like I said, you just got Jim Bob's auto repair. But and that's something else. Thank you. I'm glad I said that. People like, well, I ain't worrying about it because I don't do none of that stuff. And I just do this and I just do that. And I just, I'm a cashier at such and such. Do you use Jim Bob's auto repair? Yeah. Well, Jim Bob's auto repair, because they got your information, your house, your name, your cell phone number, your address, the year making model of your car, the uh, your 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 2020 uh, uh your 2020 Dodge Charger RT, black in color, with black interior with red piping. They got your car information. They got your license plate. Jim Bob's does. They got all that stuff. Did you pay with a check or a credit card? I paid with my debit card. You did? Yeah. You paid for your repair at Jim Bob's uh -huh, with your credit card. Yeah. Now, if you pay cash, which a whole bunch of people don't do. But you'd be surprised out here in the sticks. A lot of people still pay cash for stuff. A lot of people, they just pay cash. You can tell when it's getting darker, the hue of the camp, the lens is trying to compensate for the white balance. Technology, folks. See how back, yeah, it's trying to balance, it's trying to uh, find the white balance as it gets darker outside. Now, Jim Bob is on using Western Digital. For cloud storage for all his files he ain't got all that stuff in his shop you see what i'm saying don't think just because you're not the tech guy that you're using it okay walmart such and such get hacked well who uses them walmart oh crap how many times have you swiped your debit card at walmart if you've ever had your identity stolen you know how painful that is to rectify. I've been there. Oh my goodness. It was years ago. Now, gr granted, this was at least 20 years ago. So the techno it wasn't as advanced as it as it is now. The pain and the suffering that I went through with that. Oh my goodness. But if you've ever had your identity stolen, you know the pain that will ensue. Now, I'm not telling y'all to run out here and get your own files. So that's not what I'm doing. I'm just like to throw information out. Because the people that's in the game, they pretty much already know the stuff I'm talking about. I'm just throwing information out for the layman, for the yeoman, for the regular person. You like, wait a minute, why is this happening to me? I ain't got no cloud storage. I don't do none of this stuff. I just bought, I just went and bought a bouquet for my uh uh my sister's uh, uh wedding for the day from the damn florist and whatnot the florist uses whoever fill in the blank for cloud service got hacked you see what i'm saying cyber security it's a big deal it's one of them things you just because you're not in the game and you don't see no interest in it the game sees interest in you
That's how they get your system, get your information through a third party. They ain't got to they ain't got to try to hit your house for what? Waste all that time and energy just to get one person, maybe two people's identification. Why? When I can hit somebody, when I can hit hit a cloud storage facility, and I can get thousands of people's information at one time and hold that information hostage from the people that own the cloud or manage the cloud or run the cloud or has the security contract for it. More than likely, they will pay because the people whose data got pilfered, they will be raising hell. You see what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. The game is bigger than the individual. The game is bigger than the individual. All right? I hope that makes sense to y'all. Y'all be good and be safe. Bye.